Can coloured pencils that cost just £12 for 72 compare to Prismacolor Premier pencils? That's what we're going to test in this video. At 18 pence a pencil, these Amazon Basics are incredibly cheap when compared with Prismacolor, which are around £1.28 each when bought as a comparable 72 set. They blend surprisingly well, especially if you've got a decent paper or cardstock to use them on, as with all coloured pencils. The paper is really important. But the pigment is there, it, they are very vibrant pencils and you can see that it's not taking too much work whatsoever to get a two layer burnished blend out of these pencils and the blend itself is perfectly acceptable. It is not obviously going to be as creamy, as easy and as buttery as a pencil like Prismacolor because they're not as soft. But for the price, these pencils perform amazingly well. Comparatively, they're about the same price as Crayola, yet these definitely have more pigment and feel smoother to work with. Now for the real test. How do they stand up side by side with Prismacolor? So I coloured this butterfly from Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. One side of it with the Prismas and one side of it with the Amazon Basics. So going straight down the centre, I drew a line and either on the left or right side was the Amazon Basics. Now, can you tell, honestly, which is which? At a glance, it's fairly indistinguishable, but there are certain tells that when you look a bit closer, you'll probably know if using Prismas, which one it is. So I asked all of my followers on social media if you could guess which one was which. And it was fairly divided down the center. Some people guess right, some people guess wrong, but it was pretty matched either way. And there were a few of you who definitely picked up on those things that can really tell a Prisma from other pencils. You'll notice that on the left-hand side, a lot of the black lines of the artwork have been covered up slightly by the pencil. And this is something notorious with Prismacolor because they are so opaque they seem to really pale down all of the lines if you're not very, very careful. So you can see, for example, here on the centre of the butterfly, these little green swooshes, you can see how the ink of the illustration has been muted by the opacity of the Prismacolor. Whereas on the other side, it is nice and crisp and clean. And that's obviously the harder Amazon Basics. So if you guessed that the Amazon Basics were on the right-hand side, you were correct. And I think it's difficult to tell when you've got a very small image on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. But when you're seeing it a little bit bigger, you can really see those differences. However, at a glance, I don't think anybody could tell that these two halves of the butterfly were done by completely different brands of pencils, especially not with such a wide price difference. So I am pretty blown away actually by how well these have compared to the Prismacolors. As I said, they're not as nice to lay down. They are harder. They don't blend quite as well. They're not smushy, but they are not half bad at all, especially seeing them side by side. So here I am colouring the butterfly just to prove to you that I have definitely used different pencils on both sides. So this is the Amazon Basics and just look how well they're blended together. I mean, there are some obvious areas where they probably haven't smushed as well as a Prismacolor would, but I just think for that price difference, is it really worth it? Now, the paper is obviously something to take into account. If you are using a cheap paper that has next to no tooth, it's quite smooth, you will probably find that these pencils aren't as nice. And this is where that price difference really comes into play. But I definitely wouldn't be upset if these were the only pencils that I was ever allowed to use again. And I think, as I said, for anybody that's starting out and they want a, a cheap range of good pencils, you can't really beat these Amazon Basics for £12 for 72 pencils. I think that's a really, really good deal. So here's the Prismacolor side. And yes, I am definitely using Prismas. And again, just not that much difference whatsoever. So I really hope this has helped to make your mind up about these pencils. I know that because they're so cheap, people might be wary of the quality. 
And certainly to hold in the hand, the Amazon Basics feel cheap. They feel kind of like Crayolas. Um, they're very light and they don't have much about them uh, to look at. But the vibrancy is there and I definitely recommend them personally. Now, these pencils were sent to me by a friend. Thank you very much to Sean for sending them. He wanted to know what I thought of them before he decided to purchase for himself. And I'm really grateful for him sending them to me. So thank you very much once again. And I just wanted to make that clear that this is not in any way a sponsored review or anything like that. And I am completely 100% honest. They're not as good as Prisma. They never were going to be at that price, but they're definitely good pencils and worth the money for sure. So I was using a colour cube card for this colour palette and I really like these colours together. They're really cohesive, they look really pretty and bright and uh, I, I love the way that it's turned out. So again, would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you have these pencils? What do you think of them? Do you reckon they're a good purchase? Uh, and if not, tell me why. Uh, I love to hear everybody's different thoughts and opinions so do let me know and I hope this has been helpful. The link for these pencils will be in the description and I'll see you very soon on Colour with Claire.